Hello everyone, in this video using Sample Superstore dataset I am going to show first how we work with measures and dimensions and then I will show how we are going to work with marks and after that we will create our first visual and then finally we are going to learn how to save our workbooks. So on the screen you see the Superstore dataset. It has three tabs, orders, returns and people. First we are going to upload this data to Tableau. We click on Microsoft Excel and then select sample superstore and then open. Here on the left hand side you can see the Excel worksheets and we want to work with orders therefore we are going to drag and drop orders here. And you can see orders here and under orders you can see and worksheet format of the data. Now we click on sheet 1. So first we are going to start a visualization by adding a measure to the view. In the Superstore workbook sales revenue is a good candidate. So you can see sales here. To do this drag the sales measure onto the left side of the canvas to the vertical area labeled drop field here. As you see on the screen, the area will be highlighted in green when you move a measure there. Alternatively, you can drag and drop sales onto row shelf above the canvas. The result is the same. You see the total sales revenue of all the records in the dataset. Next, we are going to break down a measure based on dimensions. Now, you can break it down using one of the dimensions. You might want to learn, for example, how the sales numbers break down by product category. To answer that question, hold down the mouse button and drag the category dimension on the upper edge of the bar chart. As you can see, a blue highlight appears as you move the dimension there. Alternatively, you can drag down the category onto columns and the result is the same. So after the rows and column shelves, the next most important area is the marks card. You can add dimensions and measures here too to further style your chart. Among other things, you can control the color, size, form and labeling of the marks displayed in your visualization. So let's start with color because color probably is the most used feature of the marks card. To try this out, drag the segment dimension onto color. The result is you have different colors for each segment. By clicking on the color field, you can choose a different color. When you place a measure onto color, instead you can select the colors and intervals of the color gradient. Next, we are going to talk about tooltip on marks pane. A tooltip is a little hover box that displays additional information when you point at individual marks in the visualization. So let's try this out. We are going to drag the profit measure onto the tooltip. Now let's inspect the results. When you move the mouse pointer over different marks in the visualization, you realize that we don't only have sales, but we have profit as well. Tooltips add interactivity to your charts without making them more complex. They are a good place to keep secondary information that is not necessary at first glance. A simple click on the tooltip field will open a text editor that allows you to change the appearance of the tooltip as required. And now I want to show you how you can quickly sort the values on Tableau. Let's say we want to sort the sales. When you move your mouse pointer on top of sales here, you will see a sorting sign. Click on that. Once you click once, it's going to sort on descending order. If you click one more time, then it will sort in ascending order. So this is how you can quickly sort the values on Tableau. And finally, I want to talk about how you can save your visuals. After you create your visuals, you can save by using the file menu here and then click on save as. Now Tableau has two options to save your working books. One is Tableau Workbook TWB extension and the next one is Tableau Package Workbook TWBX extension. Tableau Workbooks contain all the visualizations as well as the metadata. They do not contain the actual data. 
When you share a Tableau workbook, the recipient will need to have access to the original file or database that you use. Tableau package workbook, on the other hand, contains the actual data in addition to the visualizations and metadata. The data is greatly compressed, thereby reducing the overall file size. When you share a Tableau package workbook, the recipient will be able to open and work with your visualizations even without having access to the original data source. So you are going to choose one of these, let's say this one is sample, and then click on save. To open a previously saved workbook or package workbook, go to file, and then click open, and then you can be able to see here the sample. If you would like to share your Tableau package workbook with friends and colleagues who do not have a Tableau desktop license, they can open the file with the free Tableau reader. But for that reason, you need to download the uh, Tableau reader for Windows and Mac from the Tableau website. This video is an introductory video for basic visualizations on Tableau. Thank you for watching.